Forests provide living, giving habitat, oxygen, and food for countless number of species, including us humans, imagine that. As well, they sequester carbon and help combat climate change and are a source of beauty, culture, health, and pleasure for many. The Sierra Club of BC inspires generations to defend nature and confront climate change so families, communities, and the natural world can prosper together. And they do so in three ways. One, nature, defending BC's wild places and species. Two, energy, supporting the shift to a low carbon economy. Three, but through people, inspiring British Columbians to value nature. Carly Mann has been coordinating volunteers doing community outreach, team building, and organizing events for the Sierra Club's BC campaign to protect Vancouver Island's endangered old growth rainforests. Sierra Club's goal through this campaign is to push the government to create a provincial old growth protection act and halt logging in critical intact old growth hotspots, of which I understand there's not too many left. But welcome, Carly, and tell us. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you for being here. Tell us why old growth forests are essential to our health and happiness and how they contribute to a one planet region. Yes, thank you, Francis. I'm very happy to be here on behalf of Sierra Club BC. Uh, it's an absolute honor. It's been kind of a fun thing that I fell into beginning as a volunteer. Um, it's really great to be here, so thank you. Mm -hmm. um, as for forests, um, for me, I love to go into the forests, whether it's being solo with a book and a little packed lunch, or if it's with friends going for a little adventure. I'm always left with this feeling of being rejuvenated, relaxed, uh, peaceful, and all that sort of things when I come out of the forest. And I'm sure that most of us here can relate to that in one way or another. Um, and I think that what that really speaks to is the fact that us as humans, we're intrinsically connected to nature. And that is something that is sometimes forgotten in our busy hustle bustle of the world, but whenever we return to nature, we are, we are once again met with that feeling of being peaceful and uh, being regenerated from the forests. We rely on our forests in ways that we may not always realize. We rely on them for, for food, for nutrition, for um, entertainment, uh, for infrastructure, for places like this that we're gathered in tonight. Um, so these are things that are sometimes easy to forget. Um, but uh, our actions as humans living in this place on this one planet that we have, um, sometimes they don't show too much care. So as for the logging that's going on on Vancouver Island and with the apathy that is sometimes a lot easier to feel than the empathy towards these situations, um, it shows how integral our forests are. Um, you know, hearing these rates of them being logged and us not doing anything about it, um, these are really scary things that we're met with. And um, as a community, we need to bind together to um, make some changes. Um, I understand like there's 233, count them, 233 yes. scientists <laughs> who have called for rainforest protection as the BC government is currently auctioning off more old growth cutting blocks. So what can the public do? It's sounding pretty bleak, but what can we do? Well, how can, can we be hopeful? Can, how can Absolutely, we make a difference? Absolutely, yes, we should never lose hope. Um, we have so much of the, of the power to do change within us when we bind together. Um, mm -hmm. These temperate rainforests that we're looking to protect are amongst the last of the planet, not just in Canada. They're extremely efficient at sequestering carbon and helping our fight against climate change. So as for what we can do, I would encourage everybody here to pick up their pens, their pencils, their phones, get, get typing, send letters to your local MLAs, go on to the Minister of Forests, Minister of Environment, you can even talk to your Premier let them know that we'd like this to stop. Uh, the logging's happening at a rate of three square meters per second, two soccer fields an hour, and that's with the last 10% of the remaining old growth that we were originally blessed with. Oh so my. there's lots that we can do in that on your own. Um, as well as a volunteer coordinator, I am um, a specialized person in finding a role for you. So whether it's you've seen me at community events, doing farmer's markets, we've been at lots of um, music festivals and that sort of thing. There's something for everyone, and if that doesn't sound great for you, I would first encourage you to rethink it, because it didn't sound great for me at first, and then I found myself volunteering and where I am tonight. Otherwise, there's things like data entry, phone calls, that all that sort of thing that you can do. Thanks so much, Kaga. Carly, sorry. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I know that the Sierra Club has a terrific selection of podcasts. Your, your website is just full of great information, so 
thank you and keep doing the great work you're doing and let's join Carly in a big round of applause. Thank you. Very much. <laughs>